place is almost totally full. We're talking about 4,000 people here to see the ideal man. No, he's not. I mean, uh, where the 51% could gang up on the minority and dictate the rules of economics or the rules of personal behavior on the minority. And I'm afraid that's where we are today. But the spirit is alive. Let me tell you, in this country, more and more people now are waking up. The people like you are wide awake. You know what's wrong. You know what has to be done. Washington is sound asleep. What we need to do is make sure they hear us and make sure they know what the message is, and that is for liberty. on a different direction. We more virtually gave up on the Constitution and it's been whittled away constantly ever since. And even in the last few years, it's gotten much worse. In spite of the people waking up and wanting something different, we still have a job cut out for ourselves because Washington isn't hearing us and they have not changed, but we will make a difference. We will make sure they hear this message. things certainly went and started in the wrong direction. Foreign policy was changed in accepting this uh, so-called uh, idealism of making the world safe for democracy. And look at the last hundred years. It hasn't been very safe. A lot of people have died, and there's less freedom in the world today, and there's less freedom in this country. Also, a few other things occurred uh, in the 1913. Uh, a couple things that we should reverse. One, for instance, is the uh, 16th Amendment. I'd like to reverse it. I'd like to repeal it. Yeah. 
understand truly the Jeffersonian approach to saying that, uh, you know, our life and our liberty comes from our Creator, the consequence ought to be that the fruits of our labor ought to be our own and not the government's. one other item that they passed in 1913, and every once in a while I mention it, that was the uh, passage of the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, of the Federal Reserve Act. I'd like to repeal that as well. was to establish a growth path for big government. You know, whether it was uh, the income tax. Uh, unfortunately, uh, um, Jefferson lost the argument at, at the beginning of uh, our country when he argued we shouldn't be able to borrow, but we've been able to borrow all this time. So they also then uh, said, well, taxes, taxes are limited because the people will rebel. The market limits borrowing because the interest rates will go too high. So that's why we had to have a central bank, because if we come up short, the federal government uh, can always take their bills and their debt and send it to the Federal Reserve, and the Federal Reserve just prints the money. It sounds good, it sounds like a good thing, especially if it works, and it worked for a while. It works for a while until the country gets too much in debt. And even 20, 30 years ago, the debt wasn't that outrageous. But we were a creditor nation. We were on the positive side, even during the Depression. Today, we are the biggest debtor nation in the history of the world. And they think the solution is spend more money and print more money. It's virtual insanity to think you can get out of trouble by doing the mistakes that have brought on the trouble. That's why we have to think about monetary policy, listen to the founders, and say, take away the power of the government and the Federal Reserve to create money out of thin air to finance the world. It's also uh, very much of a government issue, government growth issue. Because it accommodates and it hides the bills for a while, governments can grow. So certainly, look at 1913 on. The entitlement system developed, the war mongering developed. Quickly after the Federal Reserve uh, came into effect, they financed World War I. We had a depression in 2021. That depression lasted only one year because they weren't compelled by Keynesian economic theory to prolong the agony by propping up all the bad debt. There were no bailouts. So that depression ended a year. But by 1930, when the next depression came, their Keynesian economics took over and said, 
they're too big to fail. We can't let them fail. We have to. We're, we're good managers of the economy. We say, you know, economic planning works, and we can get out of it. What did they do? They gave us a depression that lasted 17 years. And you'd think that would wake the people up, but it hasn't. They, they argued the case back then that the reason that we had a depression was because of the gold standard and uh, also because of uh, free markets. Well, that was absolutely wrong, but it was taught in our schools for decades and decades. But right now, the proof is out on the table that their, their policies have failed. The welfare state, the entitlement system, the inflation system, and the constant wars is a failed system. It's ruining our country. We have to reverse that direction.